Hello and welcome to another tutorial of how to use Songbook Pro in worship. And this tutorial is also to help those who would maybe be a performer as this app is not just specifically used for worship but used for other things as that. I recommend you watch the first video which I've left in the description below this video that shows you how to get started using the app. So we won't be going through those parts of the simple things of how to get into the app and how to import songs. That's already in that video. And as I say, I highly recommend you watch that before watching this one. The reason I'm using Songbrook Pro is because it's a universal app. It's universal to Apple and Android users. For many years I used to use Onsong, but that was only an Arab Apple product. And as I post this video, it is not available on Android as of yet. But today I want to show you how to share songs with your team or with your band. Have you ever been there in those times where we're scrambling through the pages of books or looking for songs? Or the speaker or the pastor at the end of his sermon wants a different song than what you had already rehearsed. Or perhaps you've come to rehearsal and you've tried to sing the song together or play the song together and the key doesn't suit everyone. Well, gone are those days because once again, Songbook Pro makes things easy for you. So let's dive in and get started. So let's open up the app. Let's click on the set button or sets. So you see in front of you a set list. There's two ways to do this, ensuring the set list. Let's click open the set list. Now above, above, you will see several options. Up above you'll see a pen, a plus sign, a save sign, and three dots. Let's click on the three dots. Now in front of you are several other options. The first being share. Next is print, which allows you to print your songs in paper. From next is print preview, which shows you the layout of the print. Next is delete, set then, delete set, then duplicate, which allows you to duplicate the set. Then you have shuffle, which allows you to shuffle the songs and last pin sidebar. I'm going to show you how to use that in a moment, but for my, let's click the share button. You're given three options, first being songbook, pro, which is for your team using that app. Second is PDF, which will send the songs in PDF format. I usually use this in email or if I'm singing at a different church to send the songs who need the chords or whatever, that's how I'll do it. I'll send it via email. But we're talking specifically for Songbook Pro app. And lastly, you can also send an overview, uh, either by email or by the way that I'm going to show you here. So because we're Susie using Songbook Pro app, let's click Songbook Pro. Now you're given various options to share. We are using the app on an Android device. You will see nearby. Share or an app that will be an airdrop. Now before we use this feature, we must have Bluetooth enabled and uh, switched Bluetooth on to allow to share to other devices. So let's click on the nearby share. Or as if you're using an Apple or er, AirDrop. It will begin it will begin to search for devices on your tablet or on this occasion it will be looking for my phone. I'm 
and as you can see my phone has now come up as it's been searching for it we click on that and you'll see a little green tick and you just press done and that will send that to my mobile now we're going to switch over to mobile and I'm going to share with you there how that works now let's go to the device that um, where we shared uh, the set list on this occasion it's my phone so let's just jump over to your phone right now so on your phone just open up the app Soundbook Pro you want to go to songs in fact you want to come out of all of that you just want to go to all songs then you want to press this little plus button and you're going to see import file click the import file now where your set list will be um, left would be in your download section so go to downloads and there you can see Carl service is listed there that's the one that we sent from my tablet let's click on that then it gives you an option to import it into your songbook pro simply just click import because I've got the song another song the same just overwrite them and there you have the set list in your phone now I'm going to show you another way in order to do this as well sharing a set list let's come out of that and let's click again on your set list then let's press those three dots once again this time we're going to pin sidebar we're going to come out of that with the arrow and then we're just going to go back to songs we can go into sets so now when we click on the set now when we come out of that let's see we get out of this let's go into songs and you go into sets now you will now see that you have an option to share at the very top and you simply click the share button and it allows you now to share by Songbook Pro, Chord Pro, which I'm going to show you in another video what Chord Pro is, or PDF document. You can see Share Set, and that allows you to share the set by Songbook Pro. So we press that again, and again, that will come up. That's the type of one. We want to send it now by Songbook Pro. And again, there you can see Nearby Share will be there once again and it's found my phone once again simply click on that and you go through the same process you wait for the green tick and the person at the other end will also receive a message that they are receiving a file this all works via bluetooth not um, on wi-fi so you don't need wi-fi to do this and that is basically how you share songs on songbook pro Now to unpin the taskbar, you simply go back into the set list, you hit the three dots, and you go to the bottom and just say unpin sidebar, which brings it back to normal. Now, you can also share just one song. So we go into our songs, and a simple process once again, you just go to the share icon, you go to Songbook Pro, click nearby share or Apple airdrop it's looking for the devices again and there you have it there's your device comes up once again and you can share this to more than one person while you're doing this and that's how you share one single song on Songbook Pro so I think you'll agree with me it's a very simple process of how you can share set lists and songs here in Songbook Pro. 
Well, that's it for this tutorial. In the next Songbig Pro tutorial, I'll show you how to back up your catalogue of songs, which I feel is extremely important. Thanks for watching today, and if you found this helpful or enjoyed the video, please like and consider subscribing and leave a comment. Thank you again for watching. I'll see you in the next video.